Hi Aquarius. So a whopping close to 40% of you, um, it was the majority, um, chose to just see what comes out for your reading. That is <clears throat> not surprising. Um, there were, I think there were five options. And um, so what you wanted was to just see what comes out, which I really, really love. That's probably my favorite type of reading. So I'm not going to ask any particular question. Except that this is for Aquarius. This is for fixed air. For those born under the astrological sign of Aquarius. So that runs from about January 20 to February the 18th. It's fixed air. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius for fixed air? What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius for fixed air? What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius for fixed air? What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius for fixed air? I feel like we're ready. In three. In two. And in one. All right, so what do we have for Aquarius, please? So you can see there was another one trying to break there, but we're gonna we're just gonna start here. Oh wow, okay. I'm seeing a message <clears throat> being prepared by this person here. I'm not sure where it's going, but it it uh, it's either being prepared. Um, to be sent to you or it's a message about you and this person is very important uh, so uh, we've got Virgo and Sagittarius energy here show me more please show me more show me more please Okay, there, this is a very definite. Okay, wow. So the message, uh, you're definitely being talked about. The message, it, it, it's either going to you, being prepared for you, or it's about you. But I'll tell you what, to, the message, the purpose of the message is to find something out. And I believe this person is the person who wants to know about you, all right? There's something that they want to know. I'm getting the feeling that this message is not going to you. Uh, it's a message about you. Um, there's, there is literally an inquiring mind here. It's that person. Fascinating. So we now have <clears throat> Pisces energy as well. So just to sum up the energies so far, Virgo, Sag, and Pisces, although you could be dealing with anyone. It's just that I know that people like generally to know what energies are coming out. All right, let's see more. Show me more, please. Show me more for Aquarius. Show me more, please. Show me more. Okay, there it is, whatever it is. Wow. I think somebody is asking about something that you said. I think I'm seeing that this is about words being spilled. Uh, or it, whether or not you said something, what you said or what was said. Or if somebody has said something to you. Um, so in other words, that King of Pentacles wants to know either what you said or what somebody said to you. 
they they really want to know uh also the other thing that this could be is if the king of pentacles feels that you know something that you know something this king of pentacles may be asking around to find out if somebody said something if somebody spilled words to you um because the king of pentacles could be wondering how does aquarius know so um in other words the king of pentacles might feel like he or she has sort of been busted uh, been exposed so i believe that i am feeling like that's more what it is but anyway let's just keep going boy am i ever glad you chose to see what comes out because this is pretty fascinating all right show us more please show us more for aquarius please show us more It's right here, whatever it is. Oh, somebody's angry. Yeah, God, here we go with that pentacle again. All right, just a moment. We may have to clarify this using another deck. Definitely have to clarify this. <clears throat> so, this is either an argument that... Um, took place and it's not I don't feel like it's between you and and anyone else this is an argument about you it's either in relation yeah it is in relation to that whatever the heck that is we're going to clarify and I'm just trying to figure out what deck we're going to use here to clarify I think I'm going to use another um please clarify the five of wands and that page of pentacles there's been a, a five of wands, so that's um, Saturn and Leo. Page of Pentacles is generally associated with Capricorn, but it's it's what the argument. Please clarify what is the five of wands and the Page of Pentacles. What is this here? Oh God, this is ah! one, two, three, four. Five. Yeah. All right. The page of pentacles is something um, that was offered in the past or something that was proposed in the past. Uh, there's the idea of timing as well. Um, this is more in relation to this. I'm just going to going to show you what's here first. There's the, what the person wants to know about that page of pentacles. And that's whether or not somebody, do you see the main point of this card here? It's a Pisces, but um, this person, the main point of this card is that they've remained silent. Um, so the, the this could be about, the argument may be about whether or not somebody remained silent or did they expose um, and this is, I believe that the conversation that's going on is between the King of Pentacles and this King. So there's two people that are having this conversation. The, the King of Pentacles wants to know if this person opened their big mouth, but it's in relation to that, that page of Pentacles is something that was given in the past and that temperance card, it's in relation to that page of pentacles. So it's like um, the page of pentacles may have been something. I'm seeing something being copied here, um, pouring back and forth. Yeah, I, I literally, I feel like the page of pentacles was something that was used given or used to either copy manage delay something i don't think you even know i'm just going to clarify one more time these two cards so again this could be something as simple as uh, the, the king of pentacles may want to know if the king of cups repeated something to you that they had said to the king of cups or it could be something 
about this. This is either something that was said or it's something tangible. Can we clarify again the Five of Wands? Actually, I'm just going to ask what that is. Clarify the Page of Pentacles, please. Was that something, is that an object or is that something that was said? Is that a message or is that something that physically exists? Hard to tell, but the main point is the King of Pentacles is horrified, embarrassed if if something were repeated to you or if you found out about that, if it's a physical object. There's exposure. The King of Pentacles somehow feels like, like something that they said about you or something that they wanted somebody to do or something that they brought you. If, if they've been exposed, they feel like they've somehow been exposed. All right. I don't want to, I don't want to direct the reading right now because I feel like um, this, there's something very specific that's coming out here. Let's keep going. Show us more, please, for Aquarius. Show us more for Aquarius, please. Show us more. All right, it's right there. Oh, wow. Whatever was said or, or about you or whatever was supposed to be brought to you, if that Page of Pentacles is a thing, the King of Pentacles feels very guilty, remorseful, sad. There's a lot of guilt here. King of Pentacles feels like something has been ruined. Show me more, please. King of Pentacles feels responsible for something. Show me more. All right. It's a fascinating reading. Now, this is either the King of Pentacles looking back on uh, the situation, trying to figure out what to do. By the way, I think that is the Page of Pentacles right there. Or this, or the King of Pentacles is imagining you surmising the situation here. Show me more, please. Show me, show me more for Aquarius, please. This is just a fascinating reading. Show me more. It's right there, whatever it is. Wow. So again, this is either the King of Pentacles thinking about you, thinking about that thing. Or the King of Pentacles is trying to, wants to give you money, wants to re, there's something here. Um, if the King of Pentacles caused damage, if this is the King of Pentacles, um, the King of Pentacles is trying, is thinking here about giving you a gift. Or the King of Pentacles is imagining that you're looking at, at, at the situation here. And wondering what the heck, you know, who um, that you're looking at that page of pentacles and wondering who who brought it, who gave it. So, you know, if if some kind of if there has been something weird that happened um, and you're trying to figure out what it is, where it came from. Um, this, this would be the situation here. Or if that hasn't happened, the King of Pentacles is trying to figure out whether or not they should give you something. And I feel like it's to better the situation because, um, there's nothing negative about that. I don't feel anyway. Show us more, please. Show me more, please, for Aquarius. Show me more. This is just really fascinating here. So I feel that this is the King of Pentacles. Um, there is something that that page of Pentacles had to do with some kind of a plan. All right. Uh, that they wanted to <laughs> initiate in, in relation to you. It's a plan that needs to be completed here. Um, so the King of Pentacles is wondering about whether or not they can complete a plan in relation to you. If the King of Pentacles has caused you damage, there is some kind of a solution that the King of Pentacles wants to offer 
uh, to remedy whatever the situation is, whatever damage they cause, they want to remedy it, they want to help now for some reason. All right, let's keep going. Show me more, please. Show me more. Okay, there's three coming out here. One, two, three, yeah. Okay. No, the King of Pentacles is trying to figure out here. This is something they're trying to figure out. They're trying to figure out how you figured something out. Uh, because here, this is communication, all right? This is, this is something that's either been discovered through communication. So either they want to know who told you something. Who told you? Or they want to ask you how you figured something out. It's either, it's one or the other. Who told Aquarius what I was up to? Or they're thinking about literally sending you information, to asking you, this is a message here, asking you how you know something. They also want to know if you're still interested in them or if you are going to I feel, I just feel like the King of Pentacles wants to know if you'll take the bait. If, if you will, this is, I feel like this is taking the bait here. Um, if they send you this message, will, will you engage? Show me more. Show me more, please. They also may be waiting on communication back from you. Ooh, 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 okay. I feel that they're angry here because what I think is going on is they're angry that you're not taking the bait. I feel like they've, they feel either they've sent you communication and they're getting nothing back and it's made them angry. Or they're very angry because they feel that somebody has busted them and they're, then they're cutting somebody off here. Either way, they're angry about an ending here. Uh, King of Swords and Death is definite, definite anger here. Show me more, please. I feel like, yeah, they're also very confused. They're very confused and angry. They may be angry that they are unable to confuse you. Whatever's happened here, Aquarius, you definitely have the upper hand. Uh, there may actually be three kings involved. This could be a third one, but there is definite frustration um, by that king of pentacles that that they, 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 they don't have the upper hand with you anymore. Put it that way. Show me more, please. All right. Wow. They're getting nothing from you. They are getting absolutely nothing from you. They could be very confused as to where you are, what you're doing, why they're getting no communication, why they're being left out in the cold. If they've caused you damage, uh, they're very emotional about it. I mean, somebody has has been somebody's been trying trying to to. I, I want to use the word. It's a kind of a yucky word to use, but they've been screwing with you and they've been getting nothing out of it. Even if they sort of, even if they did cause you damage, they did not get the reaction that they wanted because you're just not engaging. You're not taking the bait. Nothing is working at all with, uh, for the King of Pentacles here. I also feel like uh, they're realizing here that Using deceptive tactics and trying to confuse you has gotten them absolutely nowhere. What it's done is it's put them behind the eight ball. It's, it, you've, you've definitely, they feel very left out in the cold. So they're realizing here that these tactics are not working. It's, it's getting them nowhere and it's causing more damage. And I feel like they're very emotional right now, whoever this is. 
like what's interesting about this reading so far is that your energy is nowhere. I know how they feel now because you're gone. You're not even there. You're not engaging at all with them. No wonder. <laughs> Show me more, please. Show me more. Okay, it's right there. Yeah, they're getting, so they're feeling very, I feel like here, this is a desire to hear from you and for your energy, for your love, and it's gone. It's been cut off. The t it's like the, if it's like the tap has been turned off, they're not getting anything and no wonder they're not getting anything, you know, they're starving for your love, starving for words from you. They're, they're getting nothing from you. Show me more, please. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Now. It's like now they feel like they've lost their chance to give you the Ace of Pentacles. Um, they could have had it all, you know, with you. They're feeling very rejected. They're also wishing that they hadn't have, whatever this was, whatever this plan was, um, if somebody, or if somebody put them up to bringing you this Page of Pentacles, if it was something bad, they're wishing they hadn't have taken it. Basically, the route that they took was it did not get them anywhere. They're very disappointed in themselves here. Now, I, I think that they feel like now they actually want to do the right thing, but you're not even there. They, they don't have the opportunity anymore to even give you uh, an Ace of Pentacles. They don't have the opportunity to approach you in the right way anymore. It could also be that they feel that if they try to approach you in the right way, you're not going to take it because of the nonsense. It's like the uh, the boy who cried wolf thing, that if they come at you in the right way now, you're, you're gonna be so distrusting because of their past behavior, you won't take it. You're not even willing to start anew because of the nonsense. Maybe three times, you know, they tricked you and you're just not willing to take a chance anymore, even if it is an honest Ace of Pentacles. You're like, absolutely not. I, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, but I can't, you know, even if you're being honest this time, I can't take the risk. I can't take the chance of fooling up again because, you know, it's that type of thing, something like that. I also am getting a feeling here, uh, that this person is looking back on, in the past, you were very happy and positive uh, and uh, very um, engaging with them and you're not now. And, and they're, they're noticing that comparison and they're realizing it's their fault. Um, your attitude now is, is not, you're disappointed in them. And they're, they're upset because in the past, you know, everything was positive and you were all gung-ho. They were not matching your energy in the past. And now they're looking at your attitude now is that, you know, you're not uh, gung-ho about this anymore. But the reason why is because of the damage that they've done, that Five of Pentacles loss and destruction. Uh, and they're not happy with their own, with what they've done. They're not, they're not happy with what they've done. Show me more. It's right here. Yeah, now they're kind of, I feel like they're trying to force it now. I'm getting the idea here, forced communication. Uh, they may be literally forcing communication here. So if you've got them blocked, this person may, uh, they may communicate, they may come to see you. You know, or uh, there's, they really are angry here that they can't directly communicate with you. The other thing too, is this may be communication with somebody else about you. If it's a little more sinister, it, you know, there, 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 there's some idea here of, let's just have a look at this. Yeah. There are, there are people here 
who are talking about you. And I feel like you, you have shut the door. There's something that you are not allowing anymore. It's if they, if there, if these were three Kings who had some kind of a plan, you've shut it down hundred percent and they can't get anywhere with you. They have, they're just looking at this whole thing and not, they cannot figure out what to do here. I still think that little bloody pentacle there is something that they want to bring you that would have caused damage and they can't get it to you. So there's an idea here of no way um, they're feeling that, that their way of moving forward with you, there's just no way it's over. The other thing this can be here is that if you have told your person, if this is your person, that they have to change something, that they have to, they've got to come to you in a completely transformed way. This person is standing there uh, at a choice point, and this is stuff that they have to forfeit here in order to come to you in this new way. What is there? Yeah, it's under there because that one wanted to come out. See, for many of you, this, these are people talking about you here. It's like they, it's like this here is bugging me because this Ace of Cups, I feel that these are words of yours that they need. How do we do this? How do we do this? For some of you, somebody literally, and I'm just going to say this, some people are looking to uh, copy or tap your communication somehow and they can't do it. And they're still trying to figure out what to do here. All right, show me more, please. Show us more. Aquarius shows more. Okay, here it is. Jeez, look out. Look out. Whatever you're doing, Aquarius, you're definitely protecting yourself very well. Uh, there's a real... Uh, this, is, this is trickery, all right? So there are people trying to trick you, but they're unable to do it. Now look out because I feel like this is a new plan that they're trying to come up with or that that one person is trying to come up with and it may have to do with something that they're going to offer you that looks good. This is what they're thinking about here. Show me more. So they may invite. It could be an invitation or an offer. Yeah, it is. Look out, look out. This is this new idea. They're hoping that you'll take the bait. Here it comes. So they're thinking about presenting something to you. So let's say that they need to get you out of your house so they can, you know, put something in your house that, or they need to, I mean, I don't know. It could be, what I do know here is this, somebody is planning on offering you something. They're hoping that you will take the opportunity, but in some weird way, you accepting that cup is an opportunity for them to do what I don't know. But there's two opportunities here. There's a strong desire for, for them, for you to take that bloody cup. Let's keep going. Show me more, please, for Aquarius. Show, show us more. Okay, there's three coming out. Okay. God only knows what this is. So here I feel like this new approach here involves somebody else. So it's people working together here. Again, I feel like they're sending somebody else in, someone perhaps that you trust, a friend, to bring you this. And here... Again, it's it's this is kind of like trying to expose something, 
for someone. This could be you, them trying to expose you. Or it could be them trying to figure out their, this could be their great brand new idea. Or they could be wondering whether or not this will work. Whether you'll know that it's somebody working together with them. Let's just keep going. Or this could also be just very straightforward, them asking someone else to ask you to find something out. Show me more, please. Yeah, look out because what this is, is a completion, okay, of a plan. And, and the plan is not good. It was meant to cause some kind of damage. I don't know why, but this is their, this is a, what they're contemplating here is some, something um, to complete a plan that got abruptly, or not abruptly stopped, but it got put, it's, it was stopped by you somehow. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is either anger or literally people ganging up on you. This could be anger about uh, you. I mean, this is the Hierophant. So, you know, it could be a, a, a Taurus being very angry. Um, it could also be a, a fighting within a marriage, but, or, you know, but what I'm seeing here though, I am seeing some kind of an abuse of power here. This is something that says my way or the highway. It can be an organization, a large organization. These are people that are trying to, that are really ganging up on someone again I feel like you have somehow successfully shut down you know whether your spidey senses were telling you that was something wrong so you had to cut somebody off you you cut off the right person there's something that you've done to bring this to an end and there's a frustration that somebody cannot boss you around. Somebody cannot control you. Somebody cannot abuse their power. They're upset about this. You brought it to an end. There could be some plan that they wanted to complete. That's, there's no way that they can do it because it's been, it's been brought to an end. I feel like you might have just sussed out. Yeah, there, there was a liar here. There, there's somebody that was, you know, this is information being given. It's it's a slippery little lie. Okay, it generally it's someone who's in, inviting you to do something or sending you a little love message. And what they say is is it's not what they say is a lie. It's what they don't say. There's something that's being omitted here, and it's very, there's a sneaky element to it. It's lying by omission. And what they were trying to do was get you to take the bait here. Um, and I, I don't think that they're, that you're taking it and that's their problem. That's why they're upset. Show me more. Yeah, because you found them out. You know exactly what's going on. They, they have been exposed. You know exactly what's going on. There was something about this little sneaky little offer that you, you, you caught them. You just caught them. They're caught. There's no way that they can trick you. Show me more. Sorry, this is so long. Wow. And now this is either your person or it's you or it's somebody who is very jealous of you. Show me more. Show me more. three coming out yeah no I, I, I uh, so if this is you um, you know your person is looking at the fact that they betrayed you that that it's that you're shut you've shut them down it's over they don't know what to do or 
If this is someone, I feel like this is someone they were involved with that got them, that put them up to whatever they're doing and they're regretting ever getting involved with that person. They're now seeing that the whole, whatever this person put them up to, the whole idea was to put you down and they should have seen that this person was jealous of you. There is a card that wants to speak up here. Yeah, they sh never ever should have taken the bait um, with that person. Uh, show me more. Sorry it's so long, but I, I'll know it when the message is completed. It's not completed right now. Yeah. Wow. So I feel like it, this is very sim simple here. Your person feels like they've done wrong. Um, they are now seeing that, you know, here's the hairpin. Here's who they thought. It, this could be an organization or a group of people or whatever who they thought were they thought they were in the right it because it's conformist it's the, you know it looked like it, the norm it was the norm but really what's happened is whoever these people were they were the worst of the worst these people were lying cheating stealing your person is now having a big realization that you can't just go with the norm you can't just think because the majority you know, because, you know, this is what everybody, this is what the majority said, or, the, you know, this is what people said they should do, uh, you know, th th just because, you know, this is the norm, just because, for example, if this is, you know, if this was the position of, of an organization, you can't just assume that because it's an organization, a government organization or something, you can't just assume that they're in the right. You can't just assume that what everything they do is correct. There's corruption in every organization. Well, not in every, but there can be very serious corruption within an organization that looks like it's, like, you know, it's solid. This could simply be a group of popular people that, uh, you know, one assumed were solid because their parents have money or because they're, of a certain religion or whatever, but you can't assume that they that these were cl people with clean hands. Obviously, here they weren't. So your person has learned a very harsh lesson here. They they sided with the wrong camp, um, or whatever camp they sided with. They were a bunch of lying, cheating, jealous, scheming people. And your person may be learning that lesson right now. Show me a little tiny bit more, please. I feel like we're nearing the end of the message. There we go. Yeah. So, you know, if your person, for example, chose the most popular person, or, you know, if this, this is either you or it's somebody that they thought, um, it's interesting that it's coming up as the Nine of Pentacles because I always say this is the cream of the crop top of the top. I believe that what's happened is your person chose what they thought was the cream of the crop, the top of the top. But the real truth was that you, they're now realizing that you are the cream of the crop, the top of the top. Um, they just simply, they have learned a lesson here, but they, they were very, very misguided. Very misguided. And I feel that you sussed them out. Uh, you shut them down. You just, you knew that something was very wrong. Show me more, please. Wow. Yeah. I feel like this is the end of the message. They love you. This is how this person feels about you. Um... They know how they feel about you. That I mean, they've learned quite a bad, you know, they've learned a lesson the hard way. I don't know. It, I feel that this is what they want, they feel, but, but, you know, it may not be possible. It may not be possible because you pretty much, I feel like you've had it with them. Let's get a prologue. Let's get a prologue. So that's what they want. Can we get a prologue, please? Because... A prologue. Here it is, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, 
God. I think we're going to have to get one more. I'm really not sure what this is. I think what it is, is we're back to that, finding out what that page of pentacles was. It may have simply been, it may have been something that one of their friends told them. Um, may I have one more please? Cause this is, this was sort of the mysterious element to this reading all along. There's three coming out. Here's a massive realization. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know. Uh, what I'm seeing here is a, an extreme effort here. This is um, exposure, <laughs> turning the lights on. And again, here is, this is either an insistence to go about something in, in the way that they were before. Or this could be something that was extremely hard for them to see. But what is that? Why is that there? It could be that it was extremely difficult for them to see that you were uh, the right one. But, but this could also be an effort that they are going to continue to make to abuse power here. Um, can we have a, a clarification on the outcome, please? Because... Yeah, more of the same. Well, I have to get one more. This is either transforming the wheel, ending what they were doing in the past, or a repetition of trying to end something. Clarify the, the result, please. Clarify the ending, please. Clarify. <laughs> How do you like this? I think what's going to happen here is that you're, that person is about to hit a tower. There's just no way around it. And it could be something that spirit is bringing in here with karmic, karmic justice. Your person just won't stop doing this, the wrong thing. And what's going to end up happening is they're going to end up in jail. They're going to end up, um, the tower could be something even worse. But what I see happening here. Um, is justice. And this is, I feel, when spirit steps in to level the score because they just won't stop. It, it could also be that the law steps in. They could actually get arrested here or put in jail with the tower. But they, this is their tower, not yours. It's just, I'm going to get one more prologue. Clarify the tower and justice it could actually be something good i'm just going to do three more passes clarify the tower and justice what happens in the end here boy clarify the tower and justice what happens clarify the tower and justice it could also be yeah no it's total desecration for your person look there is they could actually have a car accident here, there, I mean, there is total desecration for your person. This is where they're headed if they don't stop. This obviously doesn't have to be the outcome. But what's happening here is someone is refusing to learn a lesson. They're refusing to approach you in the right way. They're refusing um, to, to stop abusing power. They're refusing, they're refusing to see that it, approaching you with the seven of swords, with the five of swords, with the page of cups, these approaches are wrong and they're refusing to stop it. Um, sorry that this message is so... Do we have anything for Aquarius? What is the result personally for Aquarius? Putting aside this person <laughs> who, who ends up with the tower and just oh wow beautiful oh beautiful 
I do believe that this is you. What we have for you is just opulence. We have, you're going to be able to stand on your own two feet, money, comfort, uh, gifts from above. <sighs> A beautiful result for you. And I do believe that it's because you shut either shut them down, shut off communication, stopped taking the bait. Um, so it, it, there is no lesson for you to learn here. You've, I, I think the importance of this message is about something that you've already done. Um, and so it could be a very, it's a very positive, uh, it, it's a message of confirmation that your, your intuition was correct. You have cut off the right person. Um, and you've taken the correct action to, pr to protect yourself, which is simply, um, it's more inaction. In other words, it's more uh, of a refusing to take the bait from someone that you clearly can see is causing you trouble. Aquarius, uh, good work. All right. Sorry. It was so long. Okay. Bye.